This is a team built for championships, built for trophies, and they still haven't gotten to that consistent point where they can feel like they challenge for them. OG, meanwhile, spreading themselves out, but with all the attention up alt mid and middle, this is looking like a little apps pop to kickstart this game. Fast out of the apartments. Dupree in the graveyard misses that opportunity. It sails on by, and Magis wrestling with the USP to regain control is whipped oh, out okay. of the round in the pit. Sphinx. Quite hit the shot. Apex comes in to help out. Fiku's running at Sphinx in the back of the site. But he stands the test of time. And now the dual Berettas on Zaiwu up through short. Find its way into the 1v1. Three kills to the good already for Fiku. But this reposition from Zaiwu is lovely. And he's going to tap him out. Puts a stop to Fiku's reign of terror and picks up the pistol. Yeah, he really, he really was. was. He, he was like the backbone of the team. Like whenever they needed a big moment, a big multi kill round, you could rely on him to put that up. Oh, Apex blinded, tries to get into cover, nothing doing. And Sphinx has gone down as well, but Dupree is here, blinding himself as well. Just giving Fiku a little trade back, saying it happens to the best of us. OG's not slowing down, they're moving forward, nades in. Dupree's gonna be in the back of the bomb site. a little bit of support with the kill through smoke. Oh, <laughs> jumping tapped out by the tech at Nexa, and now Magisk... Showing himself at the coffins, making a bit of noise. They try to double swing him, and I love that. Two different angles of elevation. There is nothing that Magis could do to win in that moment. He was always going to get traded. But but hell, man, like you, you break through that, and you take minimal casualties. If it wasn't for like a bit of smoke spam or like playing that that kind of like trade swing onto, uh, onto Magisk, it would have been even cleaner. So something of the likes. It's a nice molly layout to completely displace this setup. The Sphinx wins the first fight, and Zywoo's M4 is itching to get involved. Dupree from afar takes another one out of the round, and now just Fiku left, battling back in the clutch. One kill. One kill found, but two more needed. Chance at the bomb plant at least. Magisk only just arriving from CT. M4 in front of him. Fiku's got a little bit of time. A couple of chances to upgrade off this Galil, but he wants to keep it quiet. Now gets that info. They know where he is. It goes both ways. Can't convert on the spray. Time to get the reload off. Takes that fight. Oh, Apex out of the round. There's a real chance here. Magisk is trying to find him, and he will eventually tap him out. Team Vitality. Yeah, it's always scary having like the hero open around like this, especially when you're up against Vitality, because you don't want to gift them one for free and put that in the hands of Zaiwu. However, Dexter has been good for the opener. The barrel spotted, Zaiwu's tempted. He wants the big green for himself, and so he knocks it out of the round. The B play kind of grinds to a bit of an awkward halt now. The successes they were riding on that opening pick is nothing more than a distant memory as Zaiwu peppers them from the coffins. It's left to flames in the one versus three. He's made noise. They know he's here. And so everyone starts to move around. Got to try and fight at the CT angle. Nothing to oh, cover this off. It's a clean nice. shot to Dupree. Already over on this side of the map in the graveyard and it will catch him by surprise. Two HP the difference. Hey guys. Hot Pizza has recently added a cool bonus for you. Now you can open one case for free every 24 hours. Obviously, you're not gonna get a Dragonlord here, but this deal, for example, doesn't look bad. Also, you can always use my code Vladport, which will give you another 50 cents and let you open another case for free, like this monster case, for example. Now you have two free skins. You don't like them? No worries. You can always upgrade them and choose yourself what skin you like. Hot Pizza has many cases with different prices and skins inside, as well as they have recently added a case for those who find those free cases and bonuses ridiculous. I present to you the Matt case, and whoever dares to open it will get an awesome and rare skin guaranteed, like this M4 Howl, for example. So, guys, make sure to check out Hot Pizza GG and find the best case for yourself. Link will be in description below. Sphinx finds a freebie. They could choose to go for it off this kill, and I think they will. Everyone's starting to move oh, forward, okay. but it's got to be quick. We're about halfway through the bomb, and actually Sphinx is hanging back. Content to just take the guns away after the fact. Apex and Dupree are boxing them in, trapping them inside of the site. Gonna make this one expensive at least. Flames dead, Dexter. I feel like they... The 1v3. I feel like they could have just, like, he held W and gone, like... Yeah. I guess, actually, thinking about it, the, the kit was on Sphinx, and he was the one guy who oh, didn't yeah, commit, point. so... Yeah. Now, 
flash out of apps again. They're loving the apps drop here. They may get out into the pit. Zawu, that is a close wall bang, but close ain't going to cut it. Looks like they maybe want to boost over this smoke and throw up the M4. And then just an unfortunate bit of smoke spam I, after learning about that boost. I think you're exactly right, too. I think Nexus spotted. He didn't see it the first time to pre-peak. As he's falling out, time, as he's jumping out. Yeah, yeah, he called it out. And I was a little bit worried because the bomb was on the other side of pit. So to get there, you'd have to kind of run the route against that boost. Good job from Fiku, ensuring that Mages can only go one for one. And yeah, he's pre-aiming for that boost. Here's the spam onto Zaiwu, who's just trying to escape with his life. 4-3 advantage for Vitality, but they've got to take a timeout. They've got punished a couple times here, despite some... We'll just we'll just save these weapons if you don't go to the A bomb site. But uh, OJ's coming right into the it's stack. 20 seconds, Jason. I'm scared. This this has got some legs on it for Vitality. Everyone here, you hear that smoke in the pit? The alarm bells are already going off. Oh god, did we make the wrong decision? Are we in the lion's den? It looks like it. Zai Wu's tearing through the matches from the pit, lights them up, and into the three-man stack with not a foot of ground gained. That is a devastating way for that to fall apart for OG and a beautiful little gamble at a team vitality and this is one of these moments where actually you know apex and sphinx kind of overextending in fights before isn't as big of a deal because now you might force them into this unexpected stack you do need the individuals to still step up though and that's the part that's missing for vitality just do pre-left played the wide off angle in case he got given the 1v1 but had to reposition and has to drop this smoke now they know there was a fourth man here the whole damn time Oh, Nate out. Flames has to get away. Spam through. Oh. Free. Desperate almost lines up a double. Nexa finds it right around the edge of the smoke, and Zaiwu's left alone in pit once again. Yeah, and something that's kind of weird to me right now is like Apex and Sphinx, the two usual B players, right? Is like, it's not uncommon to see Apex take fights that aren't, you know, the, the, a little the crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he doesn't he doesn't really mind, like, getting hyper aggro when maybe he shouldn't. And, and that's fine. But look at how patient Nexa is. Oh. oh no, Nexa. Oh. Why'd you say it, Jason? He turns away right as they come down banana. Look at how patient he was being. Dexter heard that first step, and now he is just dialed in on this light reposition. That is a great clear. Zywu dead. Flames in the pit. Gone after one. They've got a man trapped. Down in pit. Magis in a cage, and he is taken out of it by Dexter. Just Sphinx, who committed to a big rap. He goes and fights the sight man, but is blindsided by Dexter down in the pit. And so OG, they might have had some awkward timings, might have had some awkward moments, but they still take that round over the line. Dupree. Get smoke walk, that's a freebie. Flames, you're allowed a cheeky one, you're allowed the cheeky smoke walk oh. attempt, but Dupree might give it one of his own. They shouldn't be expecting that if he does want to come through, but he'll decide against it. Magisk has done the heavy lifting over a short. Knocks two out of the round, and this round is full Danish right now for Vitality. Dexter up through short, but a double swing coming his way, and I do love that approach, right? Don't give him the 1v1s. Don't give him a chance to get tricky with it in the 1v4. Swing him while you know where he is, while you know what's up. Nade into the back of the site. Neo Frag knocked out by it over the top. Dexter's got a molly to slow down this push from the coffin side. So right now, only hold CT. These crossfires are too set up. The setup is too entrenched. This is a done deal. It's 8-7 for OG. This one ends with a bomb explosion and OG narrowly win out this first half. Well, he's got to be the scalpel, make a fine incision on this A play. They're already in the site, overrunning it. He's fine to just duck out and wait for the retake. Magis, a lot weighted on this position, but it's just one kill from it. Sphinx will catch them from the long wrap. Eyes up three players over the ward short. They're on the angle, but they can't hold this forever. Sphinx can just play with the time as long as he likes. Dupree's in the pit with a crossfire set up with Apex. They can play off the back of one another if Dupree needs the help, and he will. Apex dead on the swing, and they know that Sphinx was over at long. The bomb's planted for him. This round was designed for Sphinx to win it. He thinks it's just the tap. It's the full stick. It's the full commit. Three seconds, and will he get them off the bomb in time? He sees the head, and he just, just, a, no. Hang on a moment. He does grab he got, it. He that is it. crazy. Oh, my God. One-tenth of a second left in that diffuse. Point one one. Feels like they know Vitality like this B play, and so they're doing everything they can to uproot that early on. He 
this counter, uh, sorry, the, the flash in to top banana was meant to net them kills, but players playing anti and Fiku gone in CT. This is kind of a done deal already. Vitality, they get the three kills on this stacked B bomb site and they're home free. Yeah, that gap's starting to widen and it's still going to be hard pressed to get much done in this next one, right? You do at least have like the kind of the good graces of these two saved guns and a bit of a partial buy around them. So those rounds can always spiral as you arm the, 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 the pistol players. But it does hinge on having some fights go your way. And that's not really been the strong suit of OG in this second half. Vitality, aggro, spam, damage connects onto Apex. And Magis tries to run the molly. They're getting stuck in at B and now they get the info. Yeah, there's multiple bodies here, but this is where the orc could still win you the whole damn thing. Zaiwu doesn't make it around short alive. The bomb tumbles away, but Dupree will grab it from down in the pit. Sphinx gets rid of that AWP. Still, Vitality have got to dig in. They've got to get ready because this retake's coming through. I think fairly late in the timeline of this bomb, Sphinx from the pit holds for the cross, not swinging, instead playing the crossfire with this sight player, Dupree, lets them in, but only to take it all away. Two quick kills and that'll seal the deal on the round. Vitality move on a 12, and considering that at one point in time, that was a 2v5, waiting behind the car and then that flash from Magis to set them up. Apex, another key B entry kill. He might have been getting bullied here on the CT side, but he's making up for it now that we've swapped over. Fiku, oh, that's triumphant through the smoke with three out of nowhere. OG needed someone to be that hero. And Fiku is the guy. OG with nine rounds. That one just blindsides Vitality. It blindsided me, and I have a mini map that shows me where everyone is. Look at this. And look, it actually it started out looking like one of those plays that you make when when the game is kind of lost and like you feel like you really you really have to overextend to try and get something done. Two, two there. Yeah, you almost wonder if the guys on air are like cooling off, right? They, they barely get involved. Dupree. Double opener. Sure did. Disaster strikes. Fiku trying to do it again. Wrestles with the AK after the double and still maintains his position on this angle, locking them out of mid for the time being. Aggression down banana and oh, Neo frag, baby. No, taken out of the round by Majisk. And now just Fiku left. He was the hero last round. But now they're asking him to do it again and then some. He would need the ace in a 1v3. If OG want to reach double digits, Planting the bomb, he's got a chance at the 1v1. Fiku, surely not. Three in the round, any more to be found. Up, oh, he's got the read, Fiku. Four out of five, just Majisk left to beat. Tap on the bomb, no one's been able to stop him, but Majisk finally applies the brakes. 14 of Vitality, they stop Fiku in his tracks. And this is, this is Vitality switching it up after so much success at the B bomb site. They're finding ways to really be aggressive at A. Previously, the two entries from Dupree up middle, now attacking Rapside with force. Three players here trying to come in. Nexa in the pit has the first and the second. Shuts it down. Nowhere for Apex to go. He's got the bomb, but he's got to back off way deeper than anyone is ready for. And so he could snipe these players in rotation. Oh, Dexter was ready for that. No indication that Magis was there. Just a feeling, just a knowledge that that gap was open. Is that going to be enough? Neo Frag takes one of the dome. A two versus five needed again from Team Vitality if they somehow want to pull this one onto the board. And indeed they will. Nice attempt. Good job from Magis to even provide the opening to make that doable. Nice has got to do a lot, man. Responsible for the apartments. One heck of a landlord here, man. Nexo with three. Sends them packing, and Magisk, who was lurking down towards the base of Banana, just too far removed to even get involved here. Three kills in this one towards Halls as the Halls pop kind of stalls out and just completely fails. Previously, it was the rap side attack from Vitality where Nexa gets a double kill. They take this away. They know they forced that arch player away from this side, and now Nexa in the pit. It's a very common sight to see, only this time Neofrag's there as a nasty surprise. Good play off the back of one another, and they can't break through. It's a flawless round out of OG. Saying that Vitality had that rifle round between them and a tie game, and they don't even make a dent.
They're not so blessed, not so flush with cash. Shot connects for this AWP, and oh, look, Nex is in the pit. But this time, they use it against him. They lob nades in, and they flush him out. But there's more where that came from. He got past this first guy, but you don't get any further. Lovely little sequences. Once again, there was a... All in, and the deal is drawn. A blackjack in this one. Next up from under the, uh, the short side. Another multi-kill in defense of this A-bomb site. And left to Spinks in the clutch. Getting wrapped as well. They pushed up short. I'm sure, I feel like Vitality probably isn't even like, they're just gonna be like, how the hell did this get to 14-15? How the hell are we looking at a map loss in the face right now? This happened so quickly and so unexpectedly. As unlikely as it felt at one point, and Neofrag's got another opening. One by one, everyone's starting to come alive for OG. Right as Vitality oh, oh, oh. fall asleep at the wheel. It's a disaster at Banana. What was once so successful, it felt guaranteed to belong to Vitality on this T side. It's now become... Gonna try and walk the smoke. Smoke for CT as well, but with a boost already employed, this crossfire is a strong one. Neo Frag, four in the round, on for the ace, and he's gonna get it to close out Inferno. All five from the nosebleeds, and that's OG up 1-0. Oh yeah, leaping in, Neo Frag. Oh, he makes a bit of a meal out of that one, but Flames is there to pick up the pieces. Fine dining as the five guys in the apartments comes to a close, and Dexter's there to catch the cross of Apex. OG. I like buy a P250. I'm like, why'd the game give me a cross? <laughs> oh, see, I got the Vino Primo. Okay. It's a nice little purple number, and. Uh, I just like the colors, man. I just like, and I never think that's a P250. Now here's a classic AK for you. Zai Wu with the fire surf tried to get stuck in over at ramp. But didn't find any successes instead. All the glory belongs to OG right now. This is interesting. They've really flexed to this control of Palace. And they're going to catch the bomb as it rotates in late. Zai Wu gives that one away. It's Dexter pushing. It was at 5 HP as he commits to that push. That's what makes it even wilder. They gotta be careful with it though. They also gotta make sure if they're gonna they go don't for die this, off that the they tide. die. Yeah. <laughs> they, or, or at least find yourself yeah. some safety at the end of the day. Spinks goes down. So mission accomplished. He's died. They breathe to say, please kill me, and Fiku will oblige him. Ooh, 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 ooh. Just trading places with that Molotov. Perfect timing for this reposition out of Fiku and Flames. Good for the trade, but it goes both ways. A 3v3. Only two players in the site. Sphinx is one, one of these little lower lurks that we've seen a couple of times out of him. OG have often been aware of that, and so they do try and fight it, but Neo Frag. I was like, Dexter has a Dude, I always watch these rounds with such keen interest because I remember <laughs> I that uh, I think it was like, yeah, it was old um, Maus with like Woxic uh, and Rops on, on Nuke. They like commit to this. There is this mid lurk component as well. Fiku. Bait them in, takes one of the dome and is kind of forced to fight for that. Now Flames has to go big. Neo Frag from stairs keeps them on their toes, but it's Flames to tear the bomb away. One more man out through the ramp side, and here he is. The Savage Man in all his glory. Two quick <laughs> kills with Dexter there to help out. It's five for OG. It looks like he wants to address on short, and he does feed Dupree the kill. That's best case scenario for Vitality. That's exactly what they wanted. Still, it's got to keep looking sweet. It's got to get better. Dupree dead over towards short, and that's enough to cool off the B hit. They duck out, they leave. Or do they? Hang on a sec. Well, they know what the rotation's going to be off that kill, right? They know someone's going to be wanting to hustle back. The AWP, they know there's going to be catwalk presence as well, because they're coming right back to the B bomb site. There's plenty of players close by to address this, but none directly watching for this play. Except for Degster. He's found the perfect timing. Double scope to the face, to the dome of Sphinx. Next Ooh. up is Magisk. And zywoo has got a 1v2 to contend with. Yeah, 22 points of health. Low on time, low on HP, and Degster's gonna wrap around and find him with the P2K. A crazy read out of Nexa. Plenty of utility for both teams as well. Degster. Not ready for a close peek. That's his one vulnerability. Flash wrecks him. They don't know about Nexa. They don't know about a man close. You spot an AWP in CT, you think that's it. Nexa, oh, oh dead to Dupree. Fiku up in Palace. They don't know. Zywoo 
coming off the ladder, but spams him with a little jiggle. Smooth move from Zai Wu to find a second for Vitality. Here's that util raining over. One man's gonna be here in time in Nexa, but it is just Dexter in the sight. Dead after the first, Nexa will keep this in the advantage of OG. It's a big flank on the cards. Flames wrapping through the back line. Fiku taps out Dupree in the meantime. OG might have been late to arrive to this A side of the map, but they've somehow fought their way back in tooth and nail on this one. As Fiku and Nexa combine with a beautiful crossfire for four kills between the two of them. They got the information at no smokes to block off. Oh, Dexter's here now, two with the AWP. And again, no smokes, just the Molotov and just the headshots from Dupree. Yeah, you see two like that over on short. Could even read into this as a B stack. Nexa lies in way back in CT, but now he's given up the aim of the game. They know where he is, and they all just collapse upon him. That was a beautiful sequence out of Dupree to find those two cap players. This is Dexter deciding he's had enough with the passive role inside of that B site and wanting to take fights on his terms down in lower. Double kill off the AWP. Top mid is not safe. Top mid is not secure. He's out on an island and scoped in on him is Zai Wu. He's going to catch him as he tries to dart up through the connector. Oof. Nexa just holds his ground, doesn't budge, doesn't move a muscle, and he gets rewarded. Zai Wu taken out on his attempt to walk over towards B. Dupree's been heard running up the connector. This is info that Fiku has. At this point, it should start to become clear that this is the A play. It's Dupree and Majisk. Two Danish legends up against Nexa and Fiku on the other side. Dupree's known about the connector. Oh, but that doesn't make Nexa's life any easier. Decapitated at the first turn of the corner. And so now Fiku trying to get this trade on the smoke fade. Does manage it. It's a 1v1. Majisk on the other side. It was so often that hero player yesterday. Great in these clutches. But Fiku's given us moments. In his own right, a chance to convert one of these clutches now, and he will get it. Magisk deleted, and Fiku, with a walk through that jungle smoke, finds his way. You know, and that nice response to losing that oh, much real estate lucky. on the A side of the map. Next up, and Neo Frag lie in wait, and that's a good opener for the Famous. He's gonna reposition, try to play off of Nexus contact. Dupree at it again, taking heads off. Clash of the Titans inside of the B site, and Dexter comes out ahead. His 20th kill in the game. Puts a stop to Dupree, who would have reached the same if he won that fight. Now Zai Wu, quiet by his standards, 1v3. Bomb down in the site. He's gonna have to drop on in, and when that noise is heard, they could just elect to fight him. Moving in, they know he's here. Oh my god, that was close. Fiku's able to hold the line though, and it's a 10-5 half for OG. So who's got dualies? Looking for the nade streaming over. There's the information. Gonna drop a defensive smoke of his own. Tough to deal with this. One's already made it out. Oh no. <laughs> they need to get him right now. They need to get him. Don't let him recover. Don't let him recover. And he's so no. got it. And look at what oh. he has on top. Oh, you had one chance to take him down. Through the fog, Flames finds him. No smoke without fire, and that's true down in the connector. Magist from CT. Oh, just regains control, but not for long enough. Don't know about Dupree. They didn't know about him here. That's the bomb drop. Dupree's been on a tear this whole game, but he can't stop this onslaught in A. A 2v2. Zaiwu and Apex still in this one. Still in the fight, but for how long? Zaiwu swinging, and he's winning. He'll take that round away. Steals it right from under their noses at CT. Ooh, oh, oh, hello, freebies. Hello, free kills down in lower. Sphinx and Dupree. Sphinx is turned for a flashbang yeah. from Dupree. I'm not sure what took Dupree's attention away. Oh, oh no, it's all gone horribly wrong. Out of the frying pan. POV leading up to that moment. So oh, and then, he, and then he like changed off. Yeah, and then when we switched to the T POV, the Neofrag POV. The Sphinx it, is just holding for a flash that literally never, never arrived. Came. Yeah. Like, Hello, not great timing on the uh, Molly Paul potentially, but actually goes in at a really good time. I changed my mind on that. It's roasted these guys coming out of Palace. They still collect the free kill on a Sphinx down lower. Expected a bit more out of the hold from under Palace. Kind of needed more. Apex, nice nade combo with the swing. And Zai Wu just deleted flames. Don't even know where. Tries his hand at the wall bang. Trying to get tricky with it. 
So he doesn't often make himself that hero, or this round doesn't get a choice. Dexter oh, runs it in, on. but they fed Dupree. Another big time player for Team Vitality, given a chance in one of these moments. Neo Frag, the guy to beat, feeling the pressure, doesn't know whether to look up or down. Look at that silhouette. He's nervous. And Dupree starts to walk in, composed as ever. But will he check sandwich? That's the big question. Looking the wrong way. Neo Frag hears the footsteps now. Dupree oh. tries to flick back, but Neo Frag narrowly gets it over the line. That's OG onto 13. And for Vitality 1, that was so close, but they can't quite convert. It's dead silent. No one's saying a word. Flames. Getting a taste of his own medicine with the palace aggression, but man, OG basically invented this. You think they don't have a second guy there ready to deal with it? it Looks like they were lining up for maybe another Hulls pop, another A hit as well. Now they got they got Neofrag at the top of the ramp already. Dupree, not ready for it. Gets a little bit of damage, but a headshot in return. And uh, they have to save. Uh, the Navi Heroic was an elimination series. Heroic's been sent home. Mm. Navi's going to be in the quarterfinals. This is not elimination. Winner of this moves on to the semifinals. You know, even if you win the next rifle, which is achievable, it, it's the streak that you've got to embark upon. It's a tremendous effort is going to be needed for Team Vitality. Going to need more big rounds out of guys like Zaiwu and Dupree. They've kind of been the dependable pair of hands. When you look at the other names, it, it's kind of dismal, right? I think if we had one other suspect stepping up alongside them, someone like Majisk, who was fantastic yesterday, or yeah. uh, or Sphinx, who who for a moment Those... I was like, man, is he back in Ents form? Is this it? Yeah. Well, they, they've kind of fallen off here. And so with just two guys, you know, waving the flags, and that, that's it, a... it, Dupree does make it back on a short in time. Nades were out at first, and Huge. Flames deletes him. Apex dead after one. Zai Wu trying to make a hero play, diving through the window. They're caught with the bomb out in the sight, and so he's out of there like a light. Down to the 2v2. Dexter trades one back. And through the market, Fiku with the backstab. The bomb's not even down yet. And OG, a claw in this one back out in the open. Sphinx is through the window and into the danger zone. A quiet game from him. If there ever was a time for him to step up, it's now. Both these players are low. Sphinx wins the first fight. And one bullet would do it to Fiku, who's tucked in behind the bench right now. Sphinx doesn't want to give up his position, doesn't want to give anything away, so didn't attempt the spam, hasn't seen him yet. Fiku's just a count, and if he waits long enough, Sphinx might look away, and he does! Oh, G2, and oh, and they're going to the semi-final! OG have beaten the odds and done what...